In this video, I will discuss essentials of data visualization with Base R and Microsoft R, and will cover R's base graphic systems and major data visualization packages and function. R has three different plotting systems. Base graphics are the oldest system in R. Base graphs are easy to get started with, but they require a lot of maintenance and are very hard to extend to new graph types. To remedy some of the limitations of base, the grid graphics system was developed to allow more flexible plotting. Grid lets users draw things at a very low level, specifying where to draw each point, line, or rectangle. Although this is wonderful, but for most users, they don't have time to write hundreds of lines of code each time they want to draw a bar or a scatter plot. The lattice system is built on top of the grid system, providing high level of functions for all the common plot types. Compared to base graphic, it has two advantages. First, the results of each plot are saved into a variable, rather than just being drawn on the screen. This way, we can draw something, edit it, and draw it again. The second great feature is that plots can contain multiple panels in a lattice. So we can split up the data into categories and compare the differences between groups. The ggplot2 system, also built on top of grid, is the most modern of the three plotting systems. The GG stands for Grammar of Graphics, which aims to break down graphs into component chunks. There are many packages that contain plotting capabilities based on one or more of the three systems, including VCD, Grid, Lattice Extra, and GG Alloy, just to name a few. Perhaps the most common of all data visualizations is the scatter plot, used for exploring the relationship between two continuous variables. Plot function is often used for creating a scatter plots. For exploring how a continuous variable changes over time, a line plot often provides more insight than a scatter plot, since it displays the connections between sequential values. The line plot function is one of the popular functions to make line plots. If you want to explore the distribution of a continuous variable, histograms are the obvious choice. And to create histograms, we can use the hist function. Box plots are great for exploring the distribution of lots of related variables, and to make them, we often use the box plot function. Bar charts or bar plots are the main way of displaying numeric variables split by a categorical variable. The bar plot function from base R is often used to make bar charts. A pie chart is a circular graphic which is divided into slices to illustrate numerical proportion. Pie charts are created with the function pi. In Microsoft R, the graphics package is part of the standard distribution and contains many useful functions for creating a variety of graphic displays. Most Microsoft R data visualization functions use the lattice graphic package to create the plots. Main Microsoft R functions for data visualization include Rx histogram used to plot a variable from an XDF file or a data frame, Rx line plot, which is used to make a line or a scatter plot using data from an XDF file or data frame. We can call the Rx ROC curve function to compute the sensitivity and the specificity for predictions and draw the ROC curve. And Rx step plot is used to plot stepwise coefficients for Rx lin mode, Rx logit, and Rx GLM objects.